two objects of masses, mass 1 and mass 2, okay, 10 kg and 15 kg, are connected by a light string, which passes through a smooth pulley, as shown in the figure. Calculate A, the acceleration of the object of mass 10 kg, uh, and the tension in the string. Okay, so how to do these questions? Um, Alright. So, uh, this is mass 1. Okay, he given all the masses. Um, right. So, first of all, let's identify what are the forces exist for each mass. Okay, so as you can see, um, here you have two objects, isn't it? You have two objects, that means you need, you need two free body diagram. Uh, you need two free body diagram, yeah? Um, okay, so, um, alright, so let's, let us draw, yeah? Let us draw, let us first identify what are the forces yeah, for each block. Okay, look at mass 1. Mass 1, it has um, its own weight, okay, because it has mass. So, we put as W1, and then uh, the tension. Uh, tension always pull, never pushes. Okay, so this is tension. Uh, tension, just put T, lah. Uh, that's enough, yeah, just put T. Uh, and then, uh, it accelerate, yeah? this object do accelerate, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they accelerate. So we know we know they are not equilibrium. Okay, so there is acceleration uh, to the top, and mass two. Okay, mass two it has its own weight. Okay, W two, and also uh, the tension uh, pulling it, dragging behind. Yeah, uh, but it drops down. So this one uh, accelerate downward. Yeah, accelerate downward. Okay, uh, then we draw free boy diagram. Okay, we draw a free boy diagram for them. Okay, so uh, for so for let's say for um, okay for mass one. Okay, and uh, this is mass two. Okay, let us draw the free boy diagram for them. Separate them. Okay, uh, one free boy diagram for mass one, another one for mass two. All right. So um, okay. Uh, this is the this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Uh, same thing goes to the you no know, uh, mass two, right? Okay, so here mass two also has uh, the axis, right? Okay, so uh, let us okay let us draw the point mass for uh, point mass. Now mass one. It has the weight uh, going down, okay. It has the weight going down. Um, this is W one, which is mass uh, mass one times gravity. It has the tension, okay. So acceleration is going up. Uh, acceleration is going up. Uh, all right. So and then for mass two, mass two is. Uh, uh, the weight is going down okay so weight 2 and the tension uh, dragging it behind okay uh, the, the system is uh, accelerating downward uh, okay so um, so uh, mass 1 okay mass 1 is how many ki kilogram it is uh, 10 kilogram and mass 2 is uh, 15 kilogram Remember the tension always away from object, uh, away from object. Tension only pulls, never push. Okay. Now, uh, then we can draw the, you know, we can form formulas uh, for uh, the y components. Okay. You look at uh, here only has y component. It doesn't have x component, right? Uh, so there's only y components. So uh, in our following step, we just do y components. Okay. So uh, this one is not equilibrium, so it, it has uh, acceleration, isn't it? So uh, the resultant force in y component okay, is equal to ma. Uh, this is mass one. Huh? For the mass two is uh, mass two is mass two a. Yeah, mass two a. Okay. Uh, so after that, 
is um, okay after that we need to put the positive and negative sign uh, remember follow the acceleration okay again uh, this one okay uh, when you have a uh, when not equilibrium when you have acceleration okay when you have acceleration uh, you need to follow this sign convention uh, follow acceleration positive opposite acceleration negative uh, follow this one uh, Newton second law okay Newton second law uh, so go back to these questions so uh, look at the mass one okay um, acceleration is going up so forces going up should be positive uh, but the forces going down which is opposite the acceleration become negative uh, how about the mass 2 mass 2 it is falling down okay acceleration going down okay acceleration going down so the which force should be positive uh, acceleration downward that means forces downward should be positive uh, follow the acceleration positive opposite acceleration opposite acceleration going up is negative uh, so this is a uh, you see the difference okay all must follow acceleration or if you have a uh, acceleration when you have resultant force you have acceleration you need to compare with acceleration follow acceleration positive follow acceleration positive opposite the acceleration negative opposite the acceleration negative we no longer says that we no longer says that oh um, direction going up is positive direction going down must be negative no we don't follow this huh? we don't follow this uh, so for newton's second law f equal to ma when you have acceleration you must compare with acceleration follow acceleration positive okay uh, opposite acceleration negative uh, so like this one you see acceleration downward uh, then the downward direction become positive not negative uh, that's the difference okay uh, you you use this one only going up positive going down negative that one only for uh, if total f equal to zero uh, if equilibrium uh, then we just fix like this uh, yeah actually this total force equal to zero you use which one minus which one also equal to zero so actually no matter you want to put which one positive also which one positive or which one negative also can actually yeah for total force equal to zero uh, but for acceleration you must compare with acceleration okay now uh, okay we do uh, the mass one so okay so uh, which one is uh, which one which force is positive ah uh, the <coughs> the tension which is same direction with acceleration is positive so we write that as positive t and then the weight which is opposite the acceleration uh, is negative so that one is negative uh, negative weight okay now um, here you have m1a okay let's continue this tension minus this m1a uh, this is actually uh, uh, mass 1g mass 1 is actually 10 g 10 kilogram uh, it is actually 10 times gravity so we put that as a uh, 10 gravity okay this is not 10 gram uh, this is 10 times gravity uh, uh, equal to 10 a okay that's it and then uh, how about this one uh, this one which one is positive the weight isn't it the weight uh, so the weight is positive so we put that as a positive the weight but the tension is negative tension is negative so we put that as a negative uh, tension uh, negative tension okay uh, equal to um, the mass 2a yeah mass 2a so this um, uh, weight 2 is actually uh, mass 1 uh, mass 2g mass 2g which is uh, 15 kilogram times gravity uh, so uh, weight 2g is actually 15 gravity minus t and this mass 2 is 15 uh, okay and then we can see here this tension uh, this tension and this tension they are, they are equal tension uh, because they are action reaction force you understand 
their action reaction force. Uh, so uh, they have equal tension. So and then uh, here also have acceleration, acceleration. So you can see you have two unknowns, uh, two unknowns, tension, acceleration, tension, acceleration. So what you do is you do simultaneous equation to solve them. Then you can uh, get your answer for tension and acceleration. Okay. So what you do is um, uh, here is tension and here is negative tension. What you do is just a one plus two. Then uh, we can say um, this tension and this negative tension they cancel off. Uh, they cancel off. And then here you have uh, negative 10g, here you have 15g, so you plus together, what do you get? Uh, you have 5g, uh, you got 5 gravity. And then uh, 10 plus 15, you get 25. 25 acceleration. So that's your acceleration, let's calculate. Okay, so now the answer I got is uh, 1.962 meter per second square uh, is that correct is the answer correct yeah 1.96 1.96 that's correct 1.962 yeah uh, so it's correct there's another shortcut you don't need to do uh, one by one you can do the shortcut yeah what's a shortcut way uh, the shortcut is uh, let me teach you the shortcut also to for the shortcut, we just treat this whole, um, you know, this mass 1 and mass 2 as one, one system. Uh, we treat it as like this. We treat it as like, um, let me draw for you, yeah? Draw you for you first. Okay, uh, I've draw for you, okay? Uh, actually, I straighten this mass 1 and mass 2. I straighten up, okay? I uh, remove the pulley. Uh, so, actually, pulley is uh, in between here, yeah? Actually, here is the pulley. But I remove it, I just straighten it. Okay, I straighten the next one, I straighten to the top there. Okay, so, um, okay, so like this. So, uh, draw all the forces, yeah, exist. So, uh, you, we know that mass 2 has the weight going this direction downward, and the uh, mass 1 is like actually uh, weight 1 going down here. Actually, if we straighten up, actually, weight 1 is in this opposite direction, isn't it? Uh, weight 1 is actually in this opposite direction uh, and then uh, here in between of course we know there are tension right in between there there is a tension here's a tension here's a tension but the, um, in our case here we just uh, disregard the tension because it's like being cancelled off yeah this tension and this tension being cancelled off so uh, it's not in our in our uh, regard so uh, now we combine these two, combine these two, actually, this, uh, we consider this mass 1 and mass 2 as one object, okay, we put it as the mass total, okay, mass total, now let's find out the total, total, uh, let's find out the uh, resultant force uh, equal to ma for this uh, whole, whole object, yeah, whole system, uh, mass 1 plus mass 2, uh, that one can help us find directly the acceleration okay so let us try it out yeah so this total force um, uh, this is also total fy equal to uh, mass total uh, in this case i combine both both mass isn't it so i put as mass total now uh, follow acceleration uh, we need to put the sign follow acceleration is uh, positive opposite yeah opposite the acceleration is negative uh, okay so we know that the weight 2 uh, is positive because uh, follow acceleration but weight 1 is negative because opposite the acceleration uh, so we put uh, the the weight 2 weight 2 is positive but uh, weight 1 is opposite the acceleration so it's negative uh, it's negative uh, the weight 1 okay and then mass total is mass 1 plus mass 2 uh, okay, so uh, and then weight 2 is actually, um, sorry, weight 2 is actually uh, 15g, okay, uh, weight 2 is 15g, and then weight 1 is uh, 10g, uh, weight 1 is 10g, uh, equal to, uh, this is actually um, 10, uh, 10 plus 15 kilogram, so 10, 
10 plus 15 kilogram acceleration. Okay, here we have 5G. We, uh, here you get 25A. Uh, so you see, we still arrive back to the same same formula, 5G equal to 25A, 5G equal to 25A. So surely we will get the same acceleration. Uh, 1.962 meter per second square. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay, uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, same method. Uh, it's just that this weight one actually is uh, in this direction, you see. Weight one is actually going downward. But if we look at the direction of acceleration, uh, this weight one is actually opposite the acceleration. You see that? Acceleration is going up. Acceleration is going up, but weight one is going down. So obviously, obviously this weight one is opposite the acceleration. Uh, that's why if I combine both objects, combine both objects, acceleration going down. Okay. Uh, all right. So if we combine both objects, okay, uh, acceleration we just put in one direction going down. Uh, that means this uh, weight 1 must be opposite direction with the acceleration. That's why weight 1 is going up. Understand? Uh, just opposite direction with acceleration. Uh, so that's why we take weight 2. Weight 2 positive, weight 1 negative. Actually, uh, acceleration going down. Look at here. Acceleration going down. Meaning that the weight 2 is much bigger than weight 1. Uh, yeah? yeah, because the mass 2 is much bigger. Uh, then weight mass one mass uh, mass two is uh you see mass two is uh, fifteen kilogram is a bigger box. Uh, the weight one is only ten kilogram. Huh? ten kilograms so ten times gravity this fifteen times gravity. So this mass two is much bigger. Uh, so we can say it's actually using a big force minus a smaller force. Why we why we use uh, weight two minus weight one? Uh, why we say follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative? Because weight two is a bigger force. This is a bigger force. Uh, weight one is a smaller force. So actually, uh, why weight two is positive? Because it is a big force. Why weight two is a, why weight two is negative? Because it's a small force. Basically, we take weight 2 minus weight 1. We are actually using big force minus a smaller force. That's why resultant force is going downward. Uh, going the direction of acceleration. So, this one actually is a big minus small. Uh, in other words, okay? The real meaning. Uh, follow acceleration is positive. Because, why positive? Because it's a big force. Uh, Opposite acceleration is negative. Uh, why is negative? Why, why weight 1 is negative? Because it's a smaller force. Uh, we always take big minus the small. Yeah, the small become minus. Uh, the small become the negative. Uh, okay? Uh, so that, that's actually the concept. Okay? Uh, so this one I still uh, get back the same answer. Okay, now finish about uh, shortcut. Now I want to find the tension. I want to find the tension. Yeah, this is just a part A. Now part B. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is the part A. Now what about the part B? Part B. Uh, part B very simple. Part B we just uh, substitute back into use one of the equations here. Uh, you use one of the equations here and uh, substitute the acceleration, and you can get the tension. Uh, so T minus uh, 10 gravity equal to 10 A. A is 1.962. Okay. So I use this equation, equation 1, and substitute at acceleration. Okay. And then I got the tension. So I got the tension equal to. Okay. So the answer I got is um, uh, 117.72 Newton. Okay, that's the tension uh, in between the block. Uh, tension in the string. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Yeah? 117.72, 117.72 Newton. That's correct. Tension in the string. Same string, same tension. Yeah? Same string, same tension. This tension acts on two different objects. Acts on mass 1 and mass 2. Two different objects. Okay, that's it. Thank you.